What's up everybody, it's Coach Pierce here and welcome to my channel and more importantly, welcome to the first ever Players Edition. So the idea of releasing a Players Edition video is so the players out there can tune in and focus purely on watching the skill. This is where I'll go into more detail on how the best players perform a particular move, which hopefully can help your game out as well. To all the players out there, I'm active on Instagram and Twitter, so if you want to see more content, go follow those accounts. I'll be leaving the links in the description as well as on the screen. I would also suggest for you guys to all check out my first video too, as it will help put everything into context and will help to see what coaches are looking for as well. The first skill we are going to take a look at is what you can do when you come across the hedge. As players, we need to understand why teams will use the hedge. Firstly, it's a good way to force the ball backwards and away from the basket, as well as acting as a shock or a barrier to prevent the ball handler from driving. It's also a great way to put pressure on the ball handler, forcing him to pick up his dribble or even give the ball away. Here are some key attributes that I believe can help you guys as players when using the pick and roll, especially when playing against the hedge. The first three attributes I would say are the easiest to develop as they will come from you putting the time in, watching games as well as practicing on the court. Having the physical tools is more genetic and takes more time to develop. If you dedicate some time to work on your physical ability in a periodic way then over time it will improve. Especially younger players, the first three are more attributes you can control and work on regularly whereas your body takes a little more time to develop. For more experienced and older players, you should be working on all four attributes regularly on the court and in the weight room. Moving on to the first skill, which is essentially having the ability to beat your man 1v1 at any time. In terms of the pick and roll, this means beating your man by rejecting the screen. As players, we have to understand why we are rejecting the screen. If we can see space to attack or no help side defense, this would be the first indication to reject. It helps to understand how the defense is going to rotate, as usually the defense will not fully help one pass away, especially when they are guarding a shooter. Now pay attention to the ball handler's position. He has opened his body up with the ball in his right hand, looking to go to the middle. This is all to help with setting his defender up so he can reject fake one way to go the other. Once he sees his defender anticipate the screen due to his setup, watch how he pushes the ball across his body, changing hands as well as changing his speed. As the ball handler, you want to aim and try and get a few steps ahead of your defender. Now the next skill is for when you want to use the screen and create when playing against the hedge. The key to executing this skill is you want to attack the ball screen defender's top foot and force him to open up or drag him out as far as possible. The goal is to eliminate him from the play. In this example, watch how he sets his man up by faking to reject. If you can, I would encourage most times to set your man up but there are some cases when it's not possible. Again, take a look at the ball handler's position and what he does with his feet. That step, faking, makes the defender turn his head, which allows him to have more time as the defender is behind the play. The ball handler has his defender chasing the play, so he is more likely to get caught up in the screen, so he only has to worry about the hedge. Take a look at the ball handler's stance as he attacks the hedge. He's already turning his body, so it makes it easier for him to turn the corner. Also, pay attention to how quickly he moves his feet and the number of dribbles he takes to get to the basket. Key thing to remember is, the body moves quicker than the ball. Now, the ball handler has done his job and eliminated the hedge. He can hit the roll man as well as the corner if he wanted to. Now the ball handler has to beat his defender to the key. Again, pay attention to how he moves his feet. Here is another example from Olympiakos Pires guard, Kostas Lucas. Watch how he forces the hedge to open up, giving him the space he needs to make a decision. 
Look how his body is positioned. His shoulder is dipping in the direction he wants to go rather than retreating. In this situation, contact can help make the defender open up, but that's only if he is late, as other times it can result in an offensive foul. As he was able to get around the hedge, look at the space he has to attack or make a pass. Another key that can help you guys as players in this situation is developing the art of deception. The skill of the no look pass or having the ability to fool defenders can help open up your teammates. This next skill, also known as the hesitation, should only be used when the ball handler sees his screen or roll early or slip the screen. The key to this working is on the screener. As soon as he sees his man hedge, he has to short roll. This will force the hedge to leave early and open up space to attack. When the ball handler sees this, he has to be a few steps ahead of his defender. So as soon as the hedge leaves, he can attack straight away. The ball handler can do this by getting his top foot in front of his defender. Pay attention to the position of the ball handler. Note he is close to the sideline and has two defenders on him, so look how he protects the ball. That slight hesitation freezes his defender and now all he has to do is accelerate and attack the space. Look where the ball is placed as well as having his top foot in front of his defender after the hedge leaves. Again, pay attention to the screener. Soon as he feels his man hedge, he is sprinting into the roll, forcing the hedge to go with him, opening up the space to attack. Look how the ball handler has made contact with his defender as he attacks. If you only have a slight advantage, creating contact can help by bumping your defender, putting him off balance. All the offense has to do now is beat his defender to the key. It's easier when you know your defender is close to you, but it's important where you pick the ball up and where you protect it, as good defenders will try and take the ball out of your hands. Try keep the ball outside your cylinder so the defense has to reach across and most likely foul you. One of the best ways to eliminate two defenders at once is by splitting the screen. Most importantly, you need to understand when you should do it. The read is, if you can see a gap between the screener and the hedger, you should try and go through it. This is where the attributes we spoke about earlier come into play. The best players that perform the skill will get through the smallest of gaps as they have great control of the ball and their reaction time is quicker than most. As players, you need to understand your ability as not all players will be able to get through small gaps, so you need to make a judgement in the moment. You'll only get better by experiencing failure as the outcome most likely won't be the same every time you try it. The keys to splitting the defence is that the screener needs to make contact with the on-ball defender and hold the screen. This is because if the big rolls straight away while the guard splits, they will more than likely collide, losing their advantage. Take a look at the body position of the ball handler and how close he is to the screener. Also, pay attention to where the ball is and how quickly he threads it through with limited dribbles. Another key is, as the ball handler, you need to sell as if you're going to attack the big by going around him, as it will help open up the gap and make it easier to get through. If you have the space, you want to aim to push the ball through and then chase after it, as you can see in the example. However, in other situations, this may not work due to the spacing on the floor, so you may have to take more than one dribble to get through. As players, knowing when to stop and shoot or to keep going is important as it will prevent moments like this. Developing a paint shot, whether that's a floater or a pull up, will be very useful in these situations. This final example is for more the advanced players out there that have a better understanding of the game and are fortunate to have great big men. This is more of a read for the screener than the guard as the guard has to react to what the screener is doing. If the screener knows that his defender is going to hedge early, he can fake like he's going to screen on the same side and at the last second switch to the other side. This then puts two defenders on the same side and if the ball handler can use the screen, we'll then have the middle to attack. 
that's it from me today with the first ever players edition hope you guys found the video helpful and are able to implement some of these skills within your game don't forget to like comment and share the video finally don't forget to subscribe to my channel i've been coach pierce and i'll see you next time